Hello and welcome to another episode of Matrix Monday. In this series, I explore one of my favorite monophonic synthesizers, the Arturia Matrix Brute. In this episode, I'd like to play around with the idea of self-patching, and one way of self-patching. It's, uh, it's kind of the traditional or old school way of uh, doing it with a mini Moog was out of the headphone jack and into the external input. Uh, there's a couple added benefits to doing this. Um, we have an envelope follower that we can take advantage of in this case. Um, and we don't have to self-patch to take advantage of the envelope follower, but it is kind of a cool way. Um, now, the brute factor on each, on each filter is a feedback circuit. But that feedback circuit isn't the audio output. It's the filter output coming back into the filter output. When we go headphone jack out, into external audio in, we're also taking the the effects section, feeding that back into itself through the filter again. So it is another sound. Um, so let's hear what it sounds like. So if we haven't yet, let's uh, initialize the patch. We're in preset mode, hold panel, hit preset. It gives us initialized patch. Um, I remind once in a while and I'll do it again. Make sure the matrix brood's warmed up, and then run the tuning procedure, which is hold panel, press keyboard track. It'll run through the tuning procedure. Now, I am going to turn down the master volume to 75% because when we start playing with feedback, that can get crazy. So watch your ears and watch your speakers because um, this can get pretty unruly pretty quickly if you're not careful. So take a patch cable. Plug that into your headphone jack, and then come around the back, and then take that same patch cable and plug it into external audio input. There we go. And then we can send external audio to the ladder filter and crank it. That's, that's output of the matrix brute going back in through the ladder filter. And we have a volume control in the back, obviously. That's what too much feedback sounds like. Bring some effects into the circuit. Give it a bit of attack. Let's uh let's go into the mod uh the mod matrix and hold uh modulation slot one and let's assign that to ladder output. And to ladder output, let's control that with the mod wheel. So we can use the mod wheel to bring up that feedback circuit. I think it'd be cool if we took the envelope follower and gave it a little bit to the VCA. Let's go to paraphonic mode just for the fun of it.
So the external output is going to ladder filter again. Let's make all the oscillators just go through the Steiner. That's a nice easy way to bring in a, a new tone into the synthesizer without much. You just need a $10 patch cable. And it is a new tone. Let's add some uh, more effects and some more regeneration. So there you have it. It's uh, this was a short one. It's uh, it's something that might be obvious to some people, but maybe not so obvious to others. I thought I'd do a little short video on it anyway, just so that I don't know, it'd be give you, give you guys open some ideas to, to maybe what you can do with self patching. Um, envelope follower to ladder filter cutoff. Let's do that. Envelope follower, let's, let's send that to effects. So we can use that envelope follower. And also, too, the envelope follower is following the amplitude envelope of the external audio input. So you can create some audio file or whatever, your, your phone. You can send any audio through. It could be a pulsating wave. And all of a sudden, you have another LFO to play with inside the synthesizer. Just an idea. But right now we're using audio from the Matrix Brutes headphone output into that external audio. Happy sound designing, guys. And uh, I look forward to doing it again in another one. Take care for now.